We found this little dude in the office. Oh, you should let it free. Mm -hmm. <gasps> inheritor. He's an inheritor. the amazing and spectacular Lorraine. And I am the superior Langston. And this is Earth's Mightiest Show. Where we talk about all the biggest spider peeps in the Marvel Universe. And watch out because it's spider get it. Wow. Wow. Okay, spider Gun's happening right now and it's, yeah. it, it's ramping up to its epic conclusion and so you gotta get your eyeballs on it right now. Yes, uh, spider Gun is a comic book event and it brings together all of these Spider-Men and women from across the multiverse and they are indeed alternate versions that are not Peter Parker. Yeah, they're facing the inheritors who are this, uh, this multiverse traveling family of spider totem eating energy vampires. Yeah. It says it on their business cards. <laughs> yeah, it's wordy but it works. It's nice. Right? Mm -hmm. um, I really love spider Gun and the Spider-Verse in general because because it not only has this like crazy mix of different kinds of characters, but also they are going up against the inheritors and they are so mean and so nasty and so scary. And so hungry. And so, and they <laughs> love to snack on spiders. <laughs> uh, I, I like to talk about oh, this, this diverse group of spider people. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of variations of, you know, with great power comes mm -hmm. great responsibility. And that comes into play with the, uh, the ideological battle between Miles and Otto. Right. Great. Because we mm -hmm. also get some octopuses up in there. True. As yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But let's talk about some of the spider folks that mm -hmm. we're going to see in this event. Uh, we got Miles Morales, who's now one of the Spider-Men of Earth 616. Yeah, in our main Marvel <laughs> Universe. Yes. And then we have Spider-Woman, who is Mayday Parker, who is from Earth 982. And she's actually the child of Peter Parker and MJ. Oh, Spider-Fighting family, yeah. You got uh, Spider-Punk, that was a, just a growling guitar. Uh, well, Hobie Brown of Earth 138. Yeah, oh, and if he wanted to start a band, he should do it with Gwen Stacy from Earth 65, who's actually Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider. Mm -hmm. Hey. Spider Ham, Peter Aww. Porker, Earth 8311, universe full of animals, but they got a spider ham. It's delightful. I, I mean, he <laughs> is a ham. If you oh, think about it, Spider Man sure is. is a ham. He is. Um, <laughs> we also get some octopuses, which don't at me. It is octopuses, not octopi. You can Google it. Um, also, it's Octavia Otto, who I love, is a female Dr. Octopus, as well as the superior octopus from our universe. Mm -hmm. And so many more spider peeps. Oh, yeah, listen, there are so many spider folks, in fact, that I went over to Central Park here in New York City to test some of our Marvel fans on their spider character knowledge. Check it out. Spider Geddon is drawing to a close and it's bringing together all spider people from across the spider verse. So I want to show you a bunch of spider people and I want to see if you can tell me what you think their name is. Okay. Okay, here we go. First up, who is this? This is pretty simple, right? That is Peter Parker. Also known as? Spider Man. That is Spider Man. Go with Spider Man? <laughs> I think that's a safe bet, right? <laughs> okay, next up, who's this? That also looks like Spider Man. They all will look like Spider Man. It's a spoiler. They all look somewhat like Spider Man. Like spider Rock. Uh... Spider Rock. What kind of rock music do you think it is? Uh, punk rock. So this, this, so Spider Punk. Yes, very spider good. Punk. punk Spider Man. Yes, yeah, Spider Punk. Spider Punk. Yes, yeah, Spider Punk. That's correct. Okay, next up, here we go. Who do you think this is? Oh, that's uh, that's Spider Pig. Spider Pig. Spider Pig. Oh, that's a pig, Spider Man. What do you get from a pig? Spider Bacon. It's close. <laughs> Pork. What else? <laughs> All right, who's this? Spider Ham, I know that one. Okay, next up, it'll hurt my feelings if you don't get this one. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to hurt your feelings. Then. <laughs> uh, CrossFit Spider Man. <laughs> he is. They're all in shape. I don't think Spider Man needs to do CrossFit. He seems to be in shape all the time. All right, there's a lot of red in this costume. What's another word for red? Do you want to say the word red? More, maybe a more uh, cultured version of red. A more cultured crimson. Blood. Blood is another, you use that for. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. A scarlet spider. Yeah, very good. See, look at. Okay, who is this? Where might he be from? Look at his chest. Where might he be from? Uh, British Spider Man. Look at his chest. Well, that looks like, it looks very specific design on oh, the chest. Say, uh, United Kingdom Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Uh, oh, British Man. Uh, spider. <laughs> British. Sp English Man. Uh, yeah, spider Man UK. Spider He's here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us today. To show our appreciation for you talking with us, here is a code from Marvel Unlimited, the subscription service that gives you access to 20,000 comics and counting. So now you can brush up on your Spider Man knowledge. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. I need that, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, I have to study. <laughs> <laughs> we all did great. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Too many of you want to eat Spider Ham. I don't like it. Okay, you guys, if you want to eat Spider Ham, at links to Bill. No, but, no! Keep and, it out of my inbox! <laughs> too late. <laughs> well, you might be saying to yourself, hey, self, where do I start with this big, huge, crazy spider event? Well, don't you worry. We got you webbed up with a little spider getting reading list. Yeah. 
So I think you should start with the Edge of Spider-Verse number one through five. It introduces a whole bunch of new spider people, including Spider-Gwen. It's so good. Mm, mm, delicious. Uh, the Spider-Verse oh. event itself is an amazing Spider-Man issues seven through 15. And the Spider-Verse uh, ramping up to its epic conclusion in issues one and two. Then of course you have to get into this event, Spider-Geddon, with Edge of Spider-Geddon number one through four that introduces even more new Spider-Folk. Yeah, and those Spider-Folk get into the battle. You like it? Uh, and Spider-Geddon issues number zero through five. That's right, and issue five is almost here, so you gotta read. So if you guys are looking for even more holiday binge reading while you're waiting out the snow, you can check out reading lists over at marvel.com slash spidergeddon. Yeah, you can see videos, listen to podcasts, and really find anything else you might want that is of the spider variety. Ah, yes. Uh, but we also want to give you guys an inside look at the Spider-Verse with executive editor here at Marvel Comics, Nick Lowe. Watch this. Ooh. Look who I found. It's executive spider editor Nick Lowe. Hi, everybody. Hey, Nick. I'm so hey, excited. Lauren. Let's talk about Spider-Geddon, or as you put it, it's the correct pronunciation is Spider Garden. I, my voice doesn't doesn't have that range, so I'm gonna let you be in charge of it. Okay, sounds good. Um, so Spider Geddon, you know, loves Spider Verse. I've been loving getting into Spider Geddon. Why did you guys want to bring back that multiverse of spiders? Well, it's just such a huge, fun, crazy story, and with the world going spider crazy between the Spider Man video game that is amazing and the upcoming Into the Spider Verse movie. Uh, and I hope they get the pronunciation of Spider-Verse. Correct, because that's another one that's tricky. Right, tricky. yeah. Uh, but with all that stuff going on, we, we knew that like, now is the moment. Now is the moment to go back to Spider-Verse and end it with Spider-Geddon. Uh, and so we have so many amazing spider characters from all these different universes. So to bring them back together again, and there have been so many new ones that have come up since yeah. Spider Verse that we like the like the video game Spider Man. Well, speaking of new ones, I am loving the Superior Octopus and Octavia, who mm -hmm. is just so fun. Uh, what dynamic do you feel they bring to the group and and all of the octopuses, please? They're so egotistical. They're so fun to kind of hate and to love at the same time. Doc Ock, classic villain, classic hero recently with mm -hmm. Superior Spider-Man when he took over Peter Parker's body. He's so much fun. And then to get this alternate Octavia and she just comes with a much fresher perspective and she hasn't been through everything that Otto has been through in his. Every once in a while I love when you see her kind of working on something and she has her tongue out yep. while she thinks and I just love that that yep. little quirk got in. Oh. Um, and I, re I mean that really speaks to the creative team and how great they are. It's just a joy. I mean in, in Marvel we work with the best writers and the best artists in the entire world. And so getting to work with them, it's, it's, it, they make life so much easier for us. And, and they're just so many cool characters. Well, I have to ask, before the end of spider Geddon, or I mean... spider Geddon. There it is. Uh, before it's over, what can you tease towards the end for just our Earth's Mightiest Show fans? Okay, okay. So at the end of spider Geddon, number four, we meet the Enigma Force. Now, super duper fans, like you really have to be hardcore to know this one, I think. The Enigma Force is what originally turned Spider-Man into Captain Universe, and that is the like the, the the power behind the Captain Universe persona. But that got called in, and so the big question is like, what is going to happen? Will any of them be worthy of the Enigma Force to use it to bring to bear on the Inheritors? The the, the things that happen in Spider-Man Four are huge, and then Five just gets even crazier as they face the Inheritors and everything that they kind of bring with them. I cannot wait. Nick Lowe, thank you so much. Lauren, it is always a pleasure. And it's always a pleasure to see all of you at Earth's Muddiest Show. Yeah, um, would you like to play a game? <laughs> I love games. Yeah. All right, Nick, we are going to play Webbed Warriors. As you can see, we have some spider people from across the Spider-Verse. Uh, Langston is here to combat against you to save more Spider-Men than you, but here's the deal. There are also some inheritors up there. Oh boy. So if you catch an inheritor, they're gonna eat one of your spider people and you're gonna lose a point. I can't do that. No, you cannot, but you can save spider people. So we're gonna put some time on the clock. Okay, oh boy. Um, Langston has never won this game before. I have not, I'm, I'm owing how many, however many. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's, it's O first, okay. Okay, on your mark, get set. Go! Oh, oh yeah, all right, oh, oh, first of the block. Really I, got, uh, I got the regu regular Spider-Man, so don't worry about oh, it. Oh, come on. Spider-Man is safe, I'm doing okay. Miles okay. Morales is forever safe. Okay. Uh, Nick Lowe. Uh, okay, 
We got. Uh, I highly recommend. Oh, there you go. You got another spider. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> oh my, great. lady okay. spider's arms are actually caught on my arm. Okay, so I got uh, the lady spider. The UK is now safe. Okay. It's low. <laughs> You're so close. You almost got. Oh, oh, oh. Got both. Got both. Oh no. Okay, oh no. Well, Spider-Man for PS4 just got eaten uh, by an inheritor. No. So it's happening again. Oh, you got oh, it. Oh, there we go. That was me. Right there. <laughs> Oh, I got Gwen. Spider Gwen. I got Spider Gwen as well. We got a spider. We have. We have. Spider. We, have uh, we got a Spider Man. So close. <laughs> so, uh, so close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Spider Man. I got Spider Girl. Okay. Here Boom. we go. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, you got this. There's everywhere I want okay, to go. There's an air. Ten. Oh, no. Ten. Nine. Eight. <laughs> seven. Uh, six. Oh. Five, I have. I have five, I got a Hulk. That's good. Spider Woman's in. But I got one inheritor. Three, two. <laughs> and oh, that's it. That's all we got time for. But let's see how we did. All right. Oh. See, I got into comics because I was terrible at sports. <laughs> uh, how are we playing sports now? We have, we have six, seven. We have seven spider people. And Lacey remains the reigning loser. <laughs> That's true. Dick Lowe, That's you've true. won this one. I feel like I had some help, but I appreciate it. Ugh. Maybe it's maybe it's my, uh, my my spider history. Well, thank you so much, Nick. And be sure to read all of Spider Geddon happening in Marvel Comics right now. Spider Geddon. Gotta crack this thing eventually. I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Can I tell you the best bit? What's the best bit? It's kind of, we tried to rig it so that you could win. How would you, wait, that's not fair. How would you rig it? Would you, what, you sat me closer? Wow, snakes, a lot of you. Snakes well, and vipers and spiders, <laughs> all of you. We were trying to help anyway. <laughs> I know. You know what? You continue to make our guests feel great. I'm gonna get it. Um, don't forget to check out marvel.com slash spider get in for the full reading list and other cool spider stuff. And hey, don't forget to vote for Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4 for the Game Awards, where it was nominated for seven categories, including g -g -g Game of the Year. And you can vote at thegameawards.com. Voting ends December 5th. Hey now, and then tell us which spider person besides Peter Parker is your favorite, and hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. We will see you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, please like this and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Or click the box over there to watch our last episode. Which spider person do you think you are? Ooh, I like Spider-Punk. Ooh, I like Spider-Ham, cause I'm making bacon.